That's right. Third Phase Mood Live Radio. Taking your calls from around the world. It's been an exciting week right here at Third Phase of Mood. A lot of videos, mass sightings right here in the U.S. Uh, multiple videos of strange, massive drone like tier three bees in the skies, not making any sounds whatsoever. Three different sources capturing the same mysterious object. Whatever's uh, looking down upon us seems like, hey, well, they're not hiding. If you got cameras out there, they're there. All you got to do is look, have your eyes and cameras ready. The UFOs are out there. And in my opinion, these are um, reverse engineered alien craft working with our governments from around the world to keep an eye on uh, the people, us, because they know we're keeping an eye out on them. Also, uh, you know, more tragedy around the world, this uh, this military, uh, this terrorism action going on. And the word mastermind, the masterminds behind this, we've got to come up with a different name other than masterminds. Uh, uh, how about master idiots? Let's call them the master idiots. we got to get after those guys because, uh, you know, it doesn't take anything of a brain to do what these guys are do- uh, what they're doing. It's barbaric. It's uh, Stone Age tactics, except they got guns now. Uh I'd say mastermind idiot is a good one. So if you agree with me, well, you could leave your comments below on that. Right now, Third Phase of Moon, let's get to uh, UFO sightings. People want to share it. They want to share it right here at Third Phase of Moon. The number to call in is 347-934-0378. Let's get to our uh, first caller calling in, area code 251. Uh, welcome to the show. Where are you calling from? What's your name? Uh, my name's Maria. I'm calling from Alabama. Hey, Maria. Welcome to the show. I, I, yeah, I recognize the name. You just uh, reached out on Facebook I, on our post that we're going to do this show tonight, and you said you had a cool story you wanted to share. Well, uh, let's hear oh, it, yeah. Maria. Thanks for, uh, I, thanks for calling in. Yeah, I tried to call last week. Um, me and my friends were sitting out on my balcony in my apartment. and Oh, actually, let me get to the first thing that happened. We were driving home from um, Fairhub, Alabama. And it was, like, not dark, but just kind of, like, pink in the sky. And I woke up, and there's this big light floating. And I have two people in the car that witnessed it with me. And so we pulled over and watched it for, like, five minutes. It was just slow, really low moving in the sky, no noise, nothing. And Could then, it have been a satellite? Um, no, it wasn't. Uh, it was a big what ball of light. I don't think, well, at first, at first it was higher up, and then it just kind of was dropping at first. That's what made me notice it. Gotcha. Yeah, satellites don't just drop out of the air unless, uh, you know. Yeah, like, it was, it was much higher up at first. Like, I thought it was an airplane, and then so that's what made me see it at first. And then I'm, like, driving down the road, and I'm, I see it again, and it's just much lower, and it just doesn't look right. Sure. What happened next? Okay, and then later on in the afternoon, uh, or later on at night, we're, I'm outside smoking a cigarette, and I'm, I always look at the sky because I'm always just looking because something's going to happen. Well, I'm looking in the sky, and this star is just, well, my friend noticed it at first. She thought the star moved, and we're sitting there watching it, and it moved from, like, pretty much all the way across the sky within, like, an hour. We sat out there for about two hours watching it. But in the meantime, watching it, uh, a shooting star passed over. And then, like, to the right of where we're watching, one of the stars that we looked at earlier just bolted through the sky. Like, it just disappeared. It was just wild because all this happened in one night. So the uh, skies were pretty active over there in Alabama last week. You know, that's when we're getting this footage in from uh, these weird craft over different parts of the United States. I'm not sure if it's the same one, but it was approximately at the same time, same day. So this was, you're saying, a, a week ago? Yeah, this was probably about last Wednesday. Let me, you know, the, I have a, that's kind of bizarre. Yeah, no, it was... And the thing is, I, uh, in the past year, I've seen a lot of stuff compared to, like, what I've seen 
early on because I've seen a few things throughout my life, but in the past year I've seen, like, I've just seen a lot of different things. This guy that I can't explain. There's this video that but, uh, you, sh- you shared right here on what? Facebook. I'm looking at a video that you shared to us right here at Third Phase Moon. May I share it to the world? It's like this uh, video of this lightning that you say keeps striking the same place, and there's some kind of – Yeah, that, electric- that was a few months ago whenever I was working at Pizza Hut in Fairhope, Alabama. There was yep. no no thunder or anything, and it was just like – it was beautiful, honestly. But it, no, there was a lot of people out there watching it with me. Yeah, there's a lot it of purple look right. cosmic glass. So what do you think was strange about this? You say that there was like, is there like some kind of orb that's continuously uh, staying stationary in the sky there? Are you talking about the videos I sent you? Yeah, the uh, lightning video. Yeah. Well, yeah, it, and it was just kept flashing in the same place most of the time also. Like, and lightning is supposed to strike in the same place more than once, isn't it? No, that's, uh, or, that's what the old saying goes. Yeah, and, and this uh, was just flashing in the same spot, like this, just spreading in the same spot, just bolts. Well, uh, Maria, appreciate you uh, reaching out to Third Phase Moon and uh, sharing your UFO sighting. Maybe somebody in oh, Alabama last week one, might have. One more thing. Yeah, go I ahead. I took a video that night um, last week, but it's really dark, and I don't know if you can, like, put a filter on it to make it, like, the negative features pop out or anything, but I can send it to you. Yeah, post it up on uh, the Facebook and share the link how you did uh, this lightning video that we're sharing right now. Okay, I will. And we'll take a look at it. You know, it's hard to, if you got a one, it's better best when you see it with your own eye, when you're uh, witnessing it in the dark and it's like, wow, you can see what's happening. But to videotape this at night against a black sky, it's pretty tough to do sometimes. But then there's yeah, also the reaction. You can only see, like, it looks like a star twinkle one time in it, but it's mostly just me and my friends just freaking out. Yeah, exactly. I get a lot of those videos. And, uh, yeah, I really, you know, if I had to share one of those, then I'd have to share tens of thousands of the ones of the exact same encounter that you had. And we can't do it. Oh, yeah. you got to be pretty selective. But I, I, I've seen them myself, and I know how hard they are to capture at night. But if they start doing zigzags, you got comparisons, uh, things that are just attached from them, you know, structure, yeah, by all means, we want to see it. Oh, yeah, my camera, it's not too well, so I really doubt you can get anything from it, but I'll still post it. Yeah, we'll want to see it. All right, Maria, um, you know what, this is, uh, hey, thanks for calling in. appreciate it. Stand by, and, uh, you know, maybe somebody might have some questions for you maybe some sightings in Alabama. The phone lines are building up. This is Blake Cousins' third phase of moon, taking calls from around the world for third phase of moon. We'll be right back, Blake Cousins. That's right. Keep your eyes on the skies, everybody. We're not alone. This is Third Phase Moon Live Radio. 
We're going to get to callers right now. Thanks for waiting. Uh, 786, you're live to the show. Tell us your name. Where are you calling from? Dunia. Calling from Miami. Hey, Julia. Uh, Miami, you got a UFO sighting you want to report tonight? I may on Memorial yeah. Weekend. In May of this year, I seen a football in the sky. It was black. And I kept looking at it, and it and it was flashing in and out from black into silver. So it you was all, a football. You saw, it was a I football. Thought, when I saw it. Uh-huh. How That's big do you think this football-sized UFO was in the sky? I thought about a football because, you know, a shape of a football is, like, pointing on the ends, and then it's, like, a circle that's being squashed, you know, and then it's, like, pointing at, at two ends. And it wasn't a good year thing, you know what I'm saying? And I, I tried to run and get my camera to, to get it because it was 8 o'clock in the morning, and it was going to come out really good. But when I did that... I looked back to see it, and it just disappeared. It went really fast. It's it's really smart. I don't know how, like, it goes so fast. It looks almost fake. So, yeah, you've seen the, you've seen the good, Julie, you've seen the Goodyear blimp more than once, I'm sure, and you know what blimps look like in the sky, and you're saying this was. Yeah, I've seen the Goodyear blimp. Yeah, you can see that it says Goodyear on it, and you can tell on the bottom, there's like that little area where the section of the people is inside of it. Okay. Okay, but this was like more, more radical. It was like uh, something you have to see it to believe it, because it doesn't look like it's real, and um, it's like very technology. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, some kind of military uh, blimp drone of some side. I, I sort I'd be thinking to myself right now. And then after. Like I couldn't, I couldn't find anything on the internet because I, I, I tried googling it and um, all that came out was that um, well, it's like all black the 70s, ops. Sir. It's not black the 70s, ops. Not, it's not public. And, um, in the seventies, there was a uh, an alien abduction in that same area. I was on Twenty Ninth mm-hmm. Street and Seventh Avenue in Hialeah, eight o'clock in the morning, and then right after this happened, I go straight to Google and I Google if anybody's seen it, and it, it comes out and it says that. There was an abduction in Hialeah right on 20, 26th Street, and I was on 29th Street. Who got abducted? Who, who who got abducted, Julie? Um, his name uh, was Billy Berto Cardenas, and this was in the 70s. And, and how I, did, I, I, you found out, out about this how? Like via the media, they're saying that peop- a person was abducted on the media by aliens? They were um, explaining that she got um, like evaluated from with some specialists in a like in a mental hospital to see if he was if, if it was true or not, and they had mm-hmm. discovered like something in his brain that had been transplanted in there, in, inserted Whoa. into his brain. Where's this woman now? Any idea? No idea. Um, I tried like Facebook up, and um, I tried a lot of other things, and no one has any information on him. Last thing they knew was that he moved from Hialeah and that the aliens were giving him a message, but the the government is somehow keeping that information away from us. Wow. So it goes on to say it, it goes on to say that um the aliens um are gonna turn co- and and come into the lives of some other people too. Like a reincarnation and, or taking no, over one's not body. Not like that. No, no, no. It's it's gonna be like um, you're gonna know who you are when you're face to face with this UFO. And um, I was a little bit um startled with that because like since I came upon it, and I was like maybe I'm one of those people. But um, I kept reading on and on and on, and I'm like, it doesn't make sense. Like, how could the government keep this from us? Well, yeah, that's a big question, and I don't have the answer for that. It's it's something but- like it's realistic. It's like more uh, advanced than what we have now. Like, we have touchscreen phones and we have, like, these nice hybrid cars and all this. Like, this thing I saw in the sky was way more advanced than what those things I just told you. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, would you think it would be maybe semi-military, but maybe some, you know, alien technology involved? But it's um, ours, one of ours. 
or okay. do you think this when you is said the military thing? I've seen the those UFOs that look like they're from the military. I've seen yeah. those before, but um, this one that I seen this year, mm-hmm. that one has like it doesn't look military, not metal. It's not metal. It just looks like um something that is computerized, and it's really sharp. Really, really sharp. Wow. Well, you know, Juliet, um, did you have a camera around while this was going down? or? I, I had just walked away from the porch. And yep. I was, walked away. I went to the mailbox. And then something, I don't know how, why, but I just turned my head up. And I, and I looked up. <clears throat> something was telling me to look there. And then I just, when I did turn my head back like that, I seen it in the sky, and it caught my attention. It was 8 o'clock in the morning, and it was this black football in the sky. And then that's when I'm, like, staring at it, and I'm, like, I'm going to run and get my phone. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. And then that's when it, like, did that flashing thing. It flashed from black to, to silver, and black again, silver, black again, silver. And then I'm, like, now is the chance. And then when I did that, it went at the speed. I, I, I couldn't even tell, like. It was really fast. It's faster than those um those airplanes they have here in Florida. There's a certain time of the year when they start flying them and they're really fast and you can't get them on on on, on a, like a camera or a phone. There's it's just faster than that. Like it just disappeared. Wow, so that's pretty fast. What uh, you know what, Julie? Tell us exactly when and where this uh, event happened and what time. Okay, it was Saturday on Memorial Weekend. May of 2015 this year, it was at 8 o'clock in the morning. I had just had my coffee and everything, and I went out to the porch to get some fresh air. And then I was walking to the mailbox. And then as soon as I turned my head up to the sky, don't ask me why, but it was something telling me to turn my head up to the sky is when I thought it was like 8 o'clock in the morning. Well, Julie, if anybody uh, you know knows what? anything, I have seen it. Like, I would like them to ask me anything about it, and I would tell them. Julie, I appreciate you sharing this, and I, I bet you we might get some uh, people from that area at that time that might have some video of this uh, event that you uh, just shared right here Anything at their Facebook Live anyone, Radio. Like Hialeah, Hialeah, Florida. It's 29th Street East, 7th Avenue, Hialeah, Florida. Right. Hot on spot over there. Anyone, anyone, anyone. Any questions, what? anything, now we'll answer. You know what? Come on uh, to Third Phase Moon YouTube, and maybe uh, there's going to be comments below that are going to uh, react to what they just right. heard right now. All Julie, right. so I'm not going to take any more time because I know some other people want to say some stuff. Absolutely. You know what? We're going to get to callers. We're going to be uh, doing it, doing it right. You know, taking callers live from around the world. Not sure what people are going to share, but sometimes it's quite enlightening. And I know it is because you know millions of people tune in to watch it. And listen, right here at Third Phase of Moon, YouTube. Blake Cousins, we'll be right back. we got a lot of callers, 940-786. we got an anonymous caller calling in. We'll be right back, Blake Cousins. Third Phase of Moon, sorry there was a little technical difficulty. Sorry we went dead right there. But we got callers on the line. And I just wanted to give a reminder to everybody that there's some big breaking news out of Siberia. Brent Cousins right here wanted to uh, remind everybody that Siberia event that happened last night looking exactly like what happened over Los Angeles a week ago. What's going on? Is Putin and Obama playing games? Well, that's the first question. My question is, why are they doing this over the mass population of Earth? They got other places to do this in secret. They're allowing people from Los Angeles to to Siberia to film these things, post them up on YouTube, and uh, we've managed to get a photograph from Siberia from Alexander Nikolic of the event there are a lot of videos out there and we're trying to get permission from the people that shot those videos but we got to get in touch with them and with this language barrier and this breaking news it's hard to get it but we're reaching out to the siberian people if you capture this uh, event that happened november 7th uh when was it the 19th 2015 contact third phase moon we want to share your videos like we did this los angeles event that was breaking fluid news Okay, now we got some callers in, and we got some anonymous callers. We, we're going to get to a, a couple of those first, and then we're going to get to area code seven eight six. But let's talk these. Uh, see who these uh, maybe first time callers are. Uh, if you're there, speak up. Hello. 
Hello. Yep, you're live. Hey, welcome to the show. Hey, what's up, Lake F1? Hey, F1. You come in a little Hi. stealth with that uh, number. Welcome, uh, yeah, welcome back. Uh, there's, yeah, I just had some more activity with Blackhawks and then my new house, which is kind of bumming me out. Oh, um, so they found you at your new place now. It's funny, and it just happened this afternoon after I uh, submitted my first YouTube video, which I didn't want to do for the longest time, and it's just the timing is kind of weird. Um, one of the things I wanted to say real quick is that to anyone that doesn't know who I am, I've been doing this for over 50 years, and um, unlike some other people, I'm not about the self-glorification. I'm just about spreading the information that I check and recheck, and it. after you've been doing it a while, you kind of uh, know what's real and what know what isn't, and you know how to deduct things. I sent um, a message to you that um, I was actually on hold and uh, didn't get to the phone quick enough uh, af on the special night that we had after the event in Los Angeles. And I looked at a few things that um, made it kind of confirm what I thought was that it, if you put everything together, what people are saying, I believe this is what my belief is. I believe that we did send a missile up off of a submarine off of this Orange County coast Sure. Um, I believe it was a flex of muscle by the United States to show China and Russia that, you know, this could be you. And what I think, like happened many be times before, like our missile silos getting the, con the missile launch sequence taken over before, I think that it was intercepted by a large UFO with escorts, as you can see in some of the videos. There's probably 12 to 20 orbs that are above and below escorting this and it, it did start to go up it's straight into the sky and then it got turned sideways and um if you i've looked, researched a couple of videos that were taken from uh, arizona one that actually caught up the interception different parts of the what looked like the fuselage of a missile being dropped off deactivating it um I also believe what's happening in Siberia was their counter attempt to flex their muscles, and once again it got taken over. I believe the in heightened uh, sightings that we've been seeing all in the last couple of weeks, especially with what you're calling the TRB3 or whatever it is, I believe that that's uh, just an enhanced monitoring since we were blatant enough to try to launch a missile. Um, I believe that they're watching even closer and closer. Let me and ask you this. Why, yeah, go ahead. Let me, let me ask you this. You're, you have military background. You, you've been on Navy vessels, and and uh, you had a high position over there, a nuclear position. I, I, and, I was actually in charge of a department that actually launches the missiles from the rear missile launcher, and also as rocks. Yeah, so you got there's the expert people right here. F1, you're listening to them right now, live on third phase. But my question to F1 right now is: Is it in general practice to do this over a, a massive population? Shouldn't why would China be scared? Why would Russia be scared? Shouldn't the people along the California coast be scared watching this thing? Uh, and you know, over the okay. inland. Is this, a, um, is this proper? I don't believe that it's in, that its original course was to be inland, actually. Oh, so this um, is a, and to answer is the a, first part of the question, usually you do it in open ocean, way far away from land, even when you're doing exercises, uh, even out by San Clemente Island and the three island chain off of San Diego. You do that so way right. away from population. Let me get this right. What I believe, what I believe it was, was it was a capture being showed off. Not so much the launch going over land, but I believe once it was intercepted and turned sideways and defused, I believe what it was was, look, you can do whatever you want, but we're gonna we're going to disarm these and take control of them, and we're going to show everybody that what you call the successful missile launch was was a, a missile that we, we enveloped and turned sideways and showed to everyone from California, Nevada, Arizona, Colorado, 
Utah, Washington, Oregon, everybody saw those things, which you would never see if it was a routine missile launch. Um, another thing that people aren't understanding is that if you do the whole research, we have been in a very heated verbal battle with China and Russia. And I believe that this is a big boy game that they're playing. And that's why you're seeing it. It's no coincidence. It's, it's, a, it's, it's not that it's not a coincidence that it's happening in Siberia. That's a, I wouldn't be surprised if the next thing that happens within the next 10 days is something from China. But I believe that this is the, our star brothers saying, look, when are you going to get it? And I believe that the heightened uh, sightings of triangular craft and larger craft and multiple crafts over the last couple of weeks is a heightened kind of send more troops into the air from our star brothers because there's too much BS going on and they want to watch it very closely rather than from closely afar, if that makes sense to you. Well, absolutely. It really does. It does. And, um, yeah, the videos that have come in from... Remember, Blake, I said this before before Siberia. I said this two weeks ago. If you if you uh, check out the email and the, the attachment that I didn't take the video, but I found it, uh, sure enough. I, you know, it's funny. When you're on the right track, it seems like you get this unseen <laughs> help to guide you in the right direction. That's right. F1, here, here's a quick question. And, uh, you know, this. And the problem is with this, uh, what's going on in uh, Siberia, really nobody's even watching or even caring about this video now because of this massive desensitization of what happened over Los Angeles, Arizona, and all the, you know, southern uh, coast of California. Miami. My, everybody, my, it's happened in Miami, all this uh, China. So we got – everybody's not really even – that's the problem. This should be – people should be concerned. About what Here's F1 another thing said. I'm going to say, Blake, that's going to address that, and thank you. You kind of relit, and this is not going to be something that's going to go over very well with people. I apologize if you do not understand that I'm not a pessimist. I'm not trying to create a negative scenario. But here's another thing that I was also proposing, and like I said, I've been doing this for 50 years, and I – it's like working in an animal shelter for 50 years. You kind of know what the dog mix is and what it's going to do next just from symptoms. I believe, please don't hate me, people out there, but if you ever know what the term is, wag the dog by our government, I believe that the California sighting was such a threat of, for exposure that could not be contained by normal sources like cutting, not allowing it on through the media, different medias, I believe, and please forgive me, people, I am, I would put 70, 72% guess that what happened in Paris was created to take the view off of the UFO, huge California and multi-Western state observance. I hate to say this, but if you look, one person, a young lady from a California college, died. All of a sudden, every football game, every news show, everything in the world is now, please help Paris. Please help Paris. I believe it was created as a distraction, and that's my belief. And it's a very, very well-known tactic. If something bad happens to the president before it, before it gets out there and, and, the tr- and there's more investigation, they do. They create a huge distract, distraction that get people absolutely fixated, and and it's done re- within a week's yeah. period so that people do not concentrate on something that was absolutely world. World awakening, and forgive me for saying that, but I promise I believe that very, very high percentage wholeheartedly. Well, you know, uh, that's people's thoughts on third phase of moon. They give it out and they share it. And F1, I, I'm glad that I get to share his thoughts. And we're going to be getting to other callers. We, we only got a few uh, minutes left, about 20 minutes. So hopefully we can get 
to some more UFO stories. But F1, you got to do me one more favor, which is I want to make sure is your YouTube channel. Hold on a sec. We got to hold on. Take that, Brent. What I want you to do is to, did you create a YouTube channel that you're going to be able to share with us right now? What video did you upload? Yeah, I uploaded. What's really strange is that I've I've known about chemtrails since the early to okay. mid seventies, and hold on. people F1. thought I was crazy then. F1. But what I did is, F1. yeah, hold on, I, hold on. F one, yeah. you got to hold on. I got a lot of callers, and I I just what I want to do is share your your uh, channel. We want to keep an eye yeah, on. I it. changed the settings on it, and I, I I did it earlier. And then when I when you sent me back a message that it F1. was still on private, on. I changed F1. it. Wait, hold on a sec. <laughs> oh, man, I know there's a lot of information that has to get out, but we got to do it in a way. Here's here it is quickly. What's your YouTube channel name? Uh, I don't have one. What you don't know it yet? F1. You know you, you yeah, got my contact. I, it's under Send my. It's under. It's under McKenna. That's all I can say. Okay, send me. Okay, we're gonna try and find it. Send it to me again, and uh, we'll keep a close eye. I want to take a look at your video. F1, stand by, man. We got a. Uh, we only got a few callers, and I know people have been waiting probably for a week, maybe or so, just to hopefully uh, get in. We try to as best we can. Seven zero two, you're live, third phase man. Welcome to the show. Yes, how you doing? Is this Blake? It sure is. Okay, that shows I'm live. Uh, this is Jermaine. Um, I'm from Nevada. And yep. now I'm pretending to the night of uh, the the seventh when that light yeah. went off in the sky. Yeah, think of it. Yep, man, I've been waiting to talk to you. I I, I have a picture, which I, I don't have YouTube, and then I don't really know how to send. And then I could probably send an email or whatever. I had a number, but the picture shows the after the after the the light went off, you can still see the UFO going west. But the the picture I took. I noticed I caught a UFO right at the top of that. It's a strange looking UFO. And it's like, you know, everybody got their videos out. I've been watching all the videos. The same, right up to the second, all the videos just lit up on YouTube. And I was like, wow, you know, this stuff really happened like this. And I've been using my own mind trying to figure out what this is. And I, I got a few ideas of what I think is going on. Well, you might have, um, when they said it was a missile, right? <laughs> this is the funny thing. I hope. See, I only caught the last part of the show, so I don't know if y'all was talking about this, but if it was a missile that was launched from American submarines, then if this thing just happened over Russia, then how is it that what are we launching their our missiles over their cities too? I mean, this don't make <laughs> sense, you know. Like that's already evidence number one. Well, you know, um, and you then, know, the, the, it's they're they're playing games and I I just don't like the games. We had a caller and F one just stated that it it was uh they're testing it out of the over the Pacific, but it was an accident on why uh, everybody saw this over the Los Angeles uh, California region. But you know what? There's a lot of photographs. There's a lot of videos coming. In. Hey, mm -hmm. what was your name again? What? what? Jermaine. Jermaine. Hey Jermaine, do you got a UFO sighting that you've seen besides this California? Event? Oh yeah. It's, oh yeah. It's like it's a lot of stuff that I'd be. It's, I could talk. I heard you only have so much time, but uh, I mean, yeah, me I'm like quick, all into this. It's, give me a quick one. I'm sorry, man. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you remember when Comet Ison was coming in and it was going yeah. past Mars that night. That night yeah. that I was outside watching with my kids and we was all, you know, we had the YouTube going on. We was watching videos that was happening every night. Yes, we was watching your videos too. And, um, <laughs> It, out, out of nowhere, I saw like these amber lights coming from the north, right over the airport, and I, I thought it was birds because the way it looked, it didn't, it, you know, it had a weird look at night. Like I'm not really seeing this, but I am seeing it, and I thought it was like birds uh, reflecting off some kind of light. And I, I told my kids, "Hey, look up, look up," because you know we always try to catch the UFOs out here, and when we looked up, right, right when when it got over our heads. We saw the triangle, and you could see through the bottom of it. You could see the sky through it and the symbol that was under the bottom of it. My kids are young, and as soon as they, as soon as they saw the UFO over our head, they just, they just freaked out and started crying. And I felt the emotion they felt when I seen it because they, they knew we didn't see nothing but some kind of craft that was from somewhere else. It probably was from here. It probably was our government because Comet Ison got destroyed shortly after that. 
it ended up being a, a, a dud comet, and I wonder if they went and did a reconnaissance and destroyed it. Or, I mean, I've been seeing a lot of stuff going on. Hey, I'm past believing if it's real or not. I've seen enough. <laughs> I was just here's another one real quick. I was sitting, I was sitting in the car. Sometimes I sit in the car, I gotta smoke my cigarettes outside, and um, I don't smoke in the house. And it was, it, you know how you can see the street light, and right above the street light is darkness, but right below it you can see where the light is shining. And it was like this this egg thing that came right up under the street light. It only moved for like it, the front part moved, and then the bottom caught up with it. Then it moved again to the left, and then it caught up with it to the left and went up. And I never seen it again. It spooked me. I, I knew it's stuff out here. You could just be outside, and it could be over. You know, you never know what's out here. Even when you're in the house, you're still outside. Yeah, you know, uh, Jermaine, you're exactly right. And you know, there's one thing to say about cigarette smokers. They go up. Oh yeah, they got nothing else better to do except smoke that cigarette and look up in the sky. You know, uh, <laughs> you're the you second it. caller in tonight. You're the second caller in tonight that went out for a smoke and saw a UFO. So in its own sense, oh, yeah. hey Jermaine, yeah. appreciate those two stories. And uh, yeah, oh, go yeah. Ahead. send the photograph. But we, let me tell you, we got hundreds of photographs. Oh, and, I know. You know You've seen what's going on in third phase on oh, that yeah. story. And, uh, that story, pretty much the world really doesn't care, it seems. The, you know, no. what they really care about is what you just heard right there from Jermaine. Stories they've never heard before. And that's a, that's yep. a cool thing. That's what I like about third phase and third phase moon radio. Jermaine, appreciate it. Thanks for the call in, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. All right. That's uh, that's cool. And uh, I like that storytelling. That was, uh, you know, it sounded like... They saw something, and with their kids, wow. Let's get to area code 786. Hey, thanks for waiting. Tell us your name. Where are you calling from? My name is Dania. I'm calling from Uh, Sorry, what was your name again? Dania. Dania. Yes, Dania. Dania, hey, welcome to the show. Where are you calling from again? Can you get a little closer? I'm having a hard I'm time. I'm calling from Hialeah. All right, so you got a UFO sighting you want to share tonight? I want to ask a question first. Uh, what is the Facebook that you guys have so I could uh, look up some comments and stuff like that? Well, we've got a Facebook, and, uh, you know, Facebook has its own different things going on. And, you know, we've been through a few, but the best way to find it is you go to our YouTube page, Third Phase of Moon, and on the About page, uh, when you see About Third Phase, it has a list of all our connections, our website, our Facebooks, uh, our Twitter account, you name it, it's all there. So once you click that, then you'll be able to find me. All righty. And um, I do have a UFO story. I have millions of them. And one that I'm going to talk to you right now about is one that, like, it goes back and forth, and it goes in zigzags in the sky. Yeah, those are UFOs. Were you by yourself when you saw that? Yes, I was by myself. Well, you know what? Check out that Facebook. It's a there's a lot of information that comes in, and we uh, look over it and we try and uh, get the permission from the person that shot it and get it on Third Phase of Moon YouTube right away. But yeah, if you got a post you want to share, you want to check out what's going on real time around the world. It's really silly how the government is, like, not expressing everything totally to us and um, how we had to lose Snowden because he's, like, a whistleblower and he would have ended his life here in the United States. And I really miss him, and I wish he could come back here to the United States again. Snowden? You're talking about yeah. Snowden? Yeah. Well, you know, we've, uh, we've spoke to uh, Senator Gravel, a senator that says Snowden's a hero. And uh, I have my opinions about Snowden, and let me tell you, they're not bad. He he let the people, the world know what was needed to be known in his own sense. But, you know, some of the information that he did release, you know, I, I heard about this stuff, you know, about 15 um, to 20 years ago. So at least the people are waking up a little bit, but there's got to be a lot more stuff. That not only are the people waking up, I think that the ones that are waking up are the aliens, because um, basing on what Snowden says, he says that the encryption that's been going on in the United States with aliens, and it's like it's going on way a lot that we're we're seeing all these sightings from all this kind of stuff that's going on, and he says it's getting out of hand, sort of. 
Mm-hmm. And no one is telling us. And um, we don't even know, like, what exactly are we saying to these aliens or, like, how far have we gotten ourselves to communicating with them. Like, there's no, there's no information on that. We just see this, all the, um, all the aftermath, like, all these things showing up in the sky. Because now, at where I live at, there's, like, way more sightings than there was when I was younger. I'm 27 years old, and um, I never saw this, this many things. And I, first time I looked up in the sky was a, for the first time that I ever looked up in the sky, and I noticed it was my first time because it, the first time I saw a shooting star, and I never forgot it. It was, like, in 2000, and um, it was my first time I looked up in the sky. I'm not going to lie. I had never looked up in the sky, and that was my first time I looked up in the sky. Well, that's per, per to see a shooting star for the first time you look up in the sky is pretty good odds. So I bet you could start looking up a lot after that. After that, yeah, it's a good. But hey, um, you know it's been very busy now. There's a lot more stuff going on now. I see a lot more things in the sky. I've seen way more than before. And like I was listening earlier to the radio and how someone was talking about there's like different kinds of aliens and you can like. Sh- show and tell which ones are real and, like, which ones are not. Well, you and know, people, like a, yeah, you know, people are out there are saying that there's genetically engineered uh, humans just look like aliens. And then they're also, you know, to the going back to Snowden real quick, and there's an interview with Neil deGrasse Tyson about a possible encryption alien signals coming into earth but we can't read them because they're encrypted by the aliens so we're not picking it up but that whole conversation really didn't go anywhere because i think we already know that we're not alone you know we got a few minutes left so we're going to try and get to uh, the last bit of callers right here let's get to it you you're an anonymous caller so you got to speak up hello are you there hello yep got you welcome to third phase hey. uh hey my name is annan ammon Amen. Oh, yes. My name is Annan. Um, I'm just calling. I've had, some, I've had some pretty crazy stuff happen lately. And, hey, like, um, one night I went out, and, I mean, we, we like to go by this lake. We call it the Chanfor Lake. And with me and some friends of mine, and we were just looking up at the sky. You know we were camping, right? Right. And we just look up, and it's, you know, I mean, you know, like, the cliche UFO sighting. It's all, like, round and brown or whatever. You know what I mean? But, I mean, we saw this. And it's like, and it looks like a triforce, and it, it looks more like a triangle than a circle. Do you get what I'm saying? A triangle? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a those... triangle, a circle. Hmm. Okay. Was this in broad daylight night? No, this was a, this was uh, about night. Okay. At about uh, at about uh, four nineteen, about four nineteen a.m. actually. I took some pictures of. I took a few pictures, but they're uh, but really bad in quality. I mean, I can send them to you. I'm thinking I'm about post uh, send them to you guys. There's uh, how can I send them to you guys? You know, if the quality's not really, if you don't think you you know what we put up on third phase. A lot of people capture some amazing things and phenomenon. You know, if you think it it holds mustard to some of the other ones, we'd like to see it. But tell me about the experience. Well, it kind of felt. It kind of felt like a like a um, like a battle toad was nearby. You know what I mean? It was just it was really exhilarating. I mean, it was just sort of like the ground. I mean, the ground wasn't. I mean, it wasn't really shaking, but it was like it was like um, it was kind of vibrating almost. It's different. It's a little different than that. I mean, uh, and it's like the tri- and the triangle was shaped kind of like a um, it was like uh, what I was saying anyways. It, it has it was like three triangles, and it was. And it kind of sound, and it, the sound, it kind of made this weird sound. It was like, kind of like that, you know what I mean? Like like a weird kind of, it, it was really That's strange. I really don't know how to describe it. I really wish I had had a, uh, took a video of, of it, but I didn't have, like, my phone wasn't capable of that. Well, you never know. You got to try. Phone yeah, you know, I mean, it's yeah. nuts. But anyway, so, um, yeah, I mean, I've been, I've been I've been looking into it, and there's like this crazy theory about like uh, this about like Triforce and Battletoads, and it's it's really really crazy. 
And, I mean, I've, I've started looking into it, and I've realized a lot of the connections between this is, and this, I'm like thinking this has to be Battletoads. I mean, Battle what else? Code. Huh? Battle code, like a, like something that's, uh, you know, not a good thing, huh? Huh. Yeah, well, well, battle toads are basically like they're, um, they they kind of look like um, they basically look like this uh, type of species of frog called a pepe frog, and it's it's real. I'm not I'm not even I'm not I'm not joking. Either. This is very serious. I mean, I've really like, I spent a lot of time in research, and I've asked a lot, yep. interviewed a lot of people who have seen these sightings. I've looked at a lot of footage. After I saw that, you know, I mean, I was kind of skeptical at first, but hello. Hello? Yeah, yeah, we're listening. You still there? Anyways, yeah, so, I mean, it's just, it's really just nuts. I mean, you know, I mean, um, I don't know. I mean, at first I just didn't believe in it, but, I mean, once I saw um, some rare mems, you know, I mean, it's just, it's it's just crazy, you know? Well, you know, these sightings uh, and how you're describing this one, it sounds pretty kind of strange. And the, the sound, the sound to me, when you bring up sounds, usually – People say there's no sound or a strange low humming, but oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, it wasn't like it wasn't like a round like Ree! it was like it was like ring, <laughs> kind of like that, you know, kind of like subtle. Uh huh. I mean, it was. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I was just, I was really perplexed, and you know, it was. And like, uh, there was like, a, like, uh, hmm? there was a video just submitted to Third Phase, what about three weeks ago? Brent's bringing it up to me. What was his name? He lives on a ranch. I think his name is Jack, and. He, there's this weird object in the sky, and he videotaped it. He submitted it to Third Phase of Moon. He says he was glad to have his camera that day, and uh, it was making this weird sound. But, yeah, it didn't sound like any kind of drone or aircraft. That It was, it was just kind of like a weird hum, frequency kind of yeah, flowing. Yeah, but the thing about it is I always hear about hums and stuff, but it was more like a Like, you know, like a car's kind of starting, like a like that. Yep. Well, it's strange. Yeah, that's not functional. It's not a functional sound. It's something going, uh, you know, I'm not sure. It was but, like a... Uh, that's cool, Anna. Well, that's a good like story. A screech, it was like a <laughs> screeching pretty... gecko. You know what I mean? You ever heard like a screeching gecko? A screeching gecko? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, frog. yeah. We've got a lot of them here in Hawaii. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they make a lot of noise. I think we got a gecko in the house right now, rolling around. We live in an old plantation house. It's funny. It's a hundred year old home, and uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got. But anyways, as I was saying, are you still there? Yeah, we're here. We got. But um, go yeah. Also, um, have you ever heard of John Cena? Well, you know what? That's another story. Unfortunately, and and we only got like uh, two minutes. To go, well, no, so. I want to tell you about the John Cena theory. It's it's basically like um like um it's it's basically like whenever like whenever you're like whenever you see like a UFO in the sky, it John Cena like power fist out. Oh no! No, hmm. That's what you get with anonymous callers sometimes, I guess. I should have saw it coming with an uh, 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 sound, right? All right, so I guess we got two minutes left. We're going to go down the line real quick, give everybody one last shot, and uh, this is it. Uh, Area code 206, we got uh, 30 seconds. Any last words for Third Phase Moon, the viewers, the listeners? Uh, 206, got to go. Uh, uh, we got F1. F1, go ahead. Yeah, I'm just uh, remember what I was saying about it's so interesting about two months ago. I was saying, um, I was kind of saying to people, you know, the just random calls and let the people that really have something to say say it. And it's ever since then, it's been amazing. You've been getting a high amount of quality calls, and I that's really cool. But I also think that the new time is throwing a lot of the old listeners off. Because uh, you know, it's people get used to a certain time. So, um, God, I wish we could have the show uh, stretched to two hours. That would be, I'm sure we could fill it up really easily. Yeah, you know what? Uh, that's a good suggestion, F1, and I'm sure uh, the people would like that. And we'll try, we'll try to extend it or maybe go back to the old time. But you know, uh, 
yeah, people got to get used to times, and uh, hopefully we can get the word out. Again, that's a good heads up for everybody. It's a new time. It's 11 p.m. if you live in New York. And if you live in Los Angeles, it's 8 p.m. now. And it'll switch up, but right now those are the times. And we're going to try and give everybody the updates and maybe extend Third Phase Moon for uh, longer additions. We want to thank everybody who's called us in, sharing their stories, sharing their stories to the world. It's quite amazing. And, uh, you know, when you hear these stories, you, you got to let the people decide whether this is somebody just wanted to call in and share a story or if this is something of a real experience. This is it, Third Phase of Moon. We'll be back here next week, Friday. Make sure to check out Third Phase of Moon for videos that are constantly submitted to us on a pretty much daily basis. And if you shot something amazing, contact Third Phase Moon via Skype, Facebook. Go to our About page. It's there. This is Blake Cousins. We'll see everybody again next time. We got a little extended edition. If you're lucky enough to be standing by, maybe we maybe got some more uh, UFO sighting stories. We're going to get to it. 801, you're live, third phase. So, what's the topic for discussion tonight? Ah, oh, you know, we're just about to close the show, man. If you got something you want to share, it's all you. So, oh, you I, I just saw the picture of the TRB. Yeah, I always I, I call in every now and then. I was the one that I talked to you about. The uh, uh, encounter with my dad and I. Oh, well, uh, remember that conversation a while back? It's a possibility, but you know, I pretty much you just got to refresh my memory, and it won't take much, and I'll re. Uh, it's there. Um, but also the conversation of I believe last week with that one guy that you talked about with the alien autopsy and stuff. There was like a little uh, head steam with that guy. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's okay. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. You know, I, I, he, he had his own agenda of the way he wants to put it out. We, you know, we put it out the way we get it from the public. I don't know what the deal was, but I still here. Let's yeah, put my son on the line. <laughs> yeah, we invited him on the show, and we might even get into this alien autopsy video of his. Apparently, he's got a follow up on that. He wants to come back, but then That's again, good. you know, I still like people. I like. You know, all this stuff, old news, old, old, old. I'm over. I'm what's happening today is what, you know, what people want to see. So, oh, yeah. We could, re- oh, yeah. We could revisit that. We could revisit Randall Shim. We could revisit Roswell. Yep. We could revisit. It's just down. And that's what most people are doing right now, rehashing the same well, old story. You can, re- you can revisit it right now, too, if you put thought into it and you can make the experience happen. It's all through sure. conscious thought. Well, I believe in that. I believe in uh, self motivation. You know, positive thinking, having a goal. Yep. yep. You know, and just sticking to it, doing what you like, finding something that you like. That's I mean, why you stick always, with yourself. Uh, I give yeah, you respect for that. It. That's good. Can, yep. And you guys keep us motivated too. And the people oh, that yeah. submit the videos, how we can't, we cannot. What I'm going to do, just uh, put it on the shelf and not ever share. It's a lot of work putting it out there, what we do, but, you know. It's and the, you saw uh, the one over California re- recently, didn't you? Well, yeah, I got 100 or so photos, maybe 50-plus videos. We've, yeah, uh, that video it, was it, pretty good. People are that. dismissing it as a missile launch. I'm sorry, missiles don't launch like that. <laughs> well, some people, I'm not sure now. I'm on the fence. All I, There's just a big question to me why did they do it well, over mass population i mean i live cl- i live close to a, a big military base here in utah dugway that's yeah. new area 51 there's a bunch of crazy stuff over here that's get your video camera get it yeah film it we i know all right i'll get some footage for you for <laughs> sure i'll call in some stuff <laughs> yeah please please do and uh, did you hear about the new uh, Siberia sighting of the exact same kind of missile, what have you, test, uh, weird stuff uh-huh. going on over Siberia yeah. last night? We uh, we just reported on that. So, you know. Well, they're all interdimensional vehicles. That's how they get here. There's no way to travel by light. It's impossible. Well, it's too, too slow. slow too. we got to move faster than that. Hey, man. Hey, appreciate yeah. the call in. 
appreciate it. All right. We gotta, you guys uh, have a good night. Thanks. Yeah, Bye-bye. you too. And think about this, moving at the speed of thought. That's about as fast as we need to move, right? Yep. <laughs> That's it. Exactly. All right. Consciousness. That's it. Yeah, he nailed it. I think uh, that's wrapping up Third Phase Moon Radio, and it's been a good one. Hey, you guys have a good, good night. Episode. I'll call in next week. Yep, definitely. Stay. Well, right. welcome. Right. You're welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Right. you know what? Uh, you know, it's been a cool show. It's been a cool show. A lot of uh, callers, a lot of different points of view, and uh, some new evidence, actually. So, no, that's it. Third Phase Moon, we'll be back next week, Friday. New time. Same channel. Blake Cousins. Keep your eyes on the skies. We're not alone. Mm-hmm.